now that we have either drawn our contour or imported a DXF file of our contour, we can create the machining program within the sketchpad. If your machine supports can cycles, the sketchpad can automatically create a roughing and finishing program uh, directly from our sketch. Here we're going to demonstrate that can cycle feature. What we need to do first is to define the contour, and we do that by selecting a starting point and an ending point of the contour. So in the element list, I'm going to define the contour. And you can see that this is the start point of my contour. The circle indicates the start point of the element and the direction that the cutter would move if it was to create a finish cut along this contour. I'm going to set this up as my start point and then I'm going to find my contour, my ending point along the top, which is my last element in my element list. I'm going to select this as the stop point and then I'm going to select the conversational turning toolpath menu. In the conversational menu I can select clearance points and a rapid point to start my contour. I can select my tool call and spindle speed. I can select the type of cutting whether it's OD or ID, whether I want to turn it along the Z or face it along X, if I want to create both a roughing and finishing or one of the other programs, the shape of my rough stock, and my rapid cut motion. I'm going to select my depth of cut, my finish allowance, and my feed rates. I'm going to select that I want to use G42 on the finish cut. Once everything is selected in the conversational menu, select Create Program, and the software will go through and automatically create the roughing and finishing program as I've selected using a can cycle to rough the part and longhand G-code to finish the part.